In this test, I'm going to discuss what is known as the standing forward flexion test. There's not much validity within this test or specificity. However, what it does, it just gives you a little bit of information ready for the follow-on testing and assessment procedures. Okay, so it just gives you a little bit. Now, the idea would be that you would palpate the PSIS, okay, so the posterior superior iliac spine. So you'd find the left side and the right side equally with your thumbs, and then you'd ask the patient just as simply, bring the chin to the chest and roll down and touch their toes. And if one side of the PSIS is moving slightly more forward than the other side, then potentially there is a iliosacral dysfunction on that side. It doesn't tell you what, it just tells you what side is dysfunctional. So if the left side goes more forward, then it could be the left side iliomonosacrum, and the most common is like an anterior rotation or maybe an upslip. Okay, so there's a few things you would look at as a result of that. So let's run through the test. To run through the test, what we would do, we would find the level of the PSIS, the posterior superior iliac spine, and then you bring your thumbs inferior to that and come up onto the PSIS in here. I like to sit in a saddle seat because it makes me at that level. I can probably just go a bit lower so my eyes are almost at that level. So what I'm going to do is come under and onto it here. Then I'm going to ask my patient, chin to chest please, and then roll down, touch your toes as far as you comfortably can, and just look to see if one thumb moves more in a cephalic direction compared to the other thumb. If, I, if I'm not sure, I can stand up and look at my level of my thumbs, and the left side moves a little bit more than the right side stays back. Okay, so come back up again. So I would normally do this two or three times. Okay, so I come under, and then again, off you go again, please. I even close in your eyes, and I can feel a superior movement of the left compared to the right side. So there's a potential, come back up, please, for a left iliosacral dysfunction on that side. And normally from this test, you would do the seated forward flexion test to see if there's a sacro on the ilia dysfunction. Now, there's two potential um, causes of this in terms of like false negatives. If the hamstring was tight on the right side, then it means it keeps the anomenate back, so it allows the left side to move naturally. Okay, so just make sure that you look at the hamstring length on left side, right side, to see if they are equal. And also, if the quadratus lumborum is tighter on the left side, it will also give you a false positive because it's shortened. It will pull the left innominate bone forward. Okay, so just bear that in mind when you are testing. So that'll be known as the standing forward flexion test looking for a possible iliosacral dysfunction.